gang, FLX Beer Reviews. Back again with some sort of beer whiskey battle. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were on your Monday whiskey wine yeah, review. I don't know. Forum uh, anyway. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here too. Hey, swirling and whiskeying and now he's down. I'm Mike. Uh, yeah. What are we drinking? All right, Mike. So we have a real treat, hopeful treat. We'll see how it goes. Uh, this is from Three Heads Brewing, located in Rochester, New York, and this is their barrel-aged barley wine. Oh. So this is the English-style barley okay. wine aged in iron smoke whiskey barrels. Comes in at 12.5 ABV. Oh. And Mike, Dan, this sucker's been hanging out. What, a couple months? Maybe? Three months. In my basement. Gotta be like four. Four tops. We're in January Five? of 24. Six months. No more than seven. Canned on 2000. It's gotta be eight months. 2021. Oh, okay. The month of Wait. December, the day is 13. <gasps> so December 13th, 2021, barley wine o'clock. It can't be good anymore. Uh, can't so eat. yeah. Can't eat uh, stuff. Come on. I've had, I've had. Uh, yes, uh, I've, I've had, had this as well, yeah. but it was way long ago. I had it really fresh, right? Yeah, fresh. So I, I stuck a couple cans down. I gave you a can, I yep. drank a can. And I, I drank my Two can. cans in my uh, cellar. And, um, Although in my cellar, yes, yeah, that's my yes, can yes, basically. Yes. Yeah, if anyone's um, asking. Anyways, uh, no, what do we have to pay this had, up? I had the idea, so I've been getting this slowly into the bourbon. I had an idea. Why don't we buy some iron smoke whiskey and uh, pair it up? Yeah, so, iron smoke whiskey. There you go. So I'm very excited. Yeah, check for it out. This. Um, so yeah, this is uh, it, oh, just in case. It's been in my <laughs> cellar. Deep. The can feels tight. In a little bit. Ah, we're golden. Oh, we are golden. All right. Three heads so, doesn't make crazy like, oh, they're going to explode uh, here. So I've taken this out of the beer fridge. My beer fridge is about, I don't know, 41. I took it in my beer fridge. It's been sitting out for about 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to see how this aged oh, and see how the yeah, barrel character wait. is adjusted. And here, pour it up. Let me know if we're going to make it even. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think this is going to be a lot of fun, hopefully. I am really excited okay, to do so this. Okay, so. I think we're even here. We good? Oh, yeah. We're, we're good. We're yeah, good. I guess slightly. Yeah, we're good. There we go. All right. Um, so, the deets on this, uh, from what they or... what they said, um, yeah, we'll pour the whiskey, okay. let it air out. So, yeah. Age, here, why don't you pour it up? Age 13 months. Because you can't. Oh, I, I can't look, I gotta look, look like the ass. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, age 13 months in iron smoke uh, wow. barrels. And it was uh, English barley wine with flaked... Uh, like dotes, uh, with pal and terra pour. aroma malts, and uh, Jesus Christ, um, oh, Horizon and Crystal Hops. Okay, so want the air out a little bit. All, All right, right, let's so, get into yeah, it. let's get into this one. So it looks, it's a very nice. Can you show that. I'll show the whiskey. Dark, uh, ambery red color. There's a little bit of a head hanging around. Yeah. Um, but it's a beautiful looking beer. I mean, it's very dark. There's no carbonation to be seen. Uh, so tell me about the whiskey there. Uh, so the whiskey is, it, it's honey. It, it's like a... Oh, yeah. A, okay. A very clear kind of golden yellow honey. Uh, you swirl it up, the legs are just... Oh, yeah. That's dripping down. The They're glass. just like coating down like a nice oil slick. Um, is that what yeah. you're looking for in a whiskey like that? Yeah, definitely. You want some good legs on okay. it. Something that kind All of right. sticks kind of... Hangs around. Uh, I am a, a novice in the bourbon game. Um, if he's is, a novice, I am a pauper. So, uh, yeah. so what do you want? Let's get a whiff on this uh, this barley wine here. I, I swirled it. I just got a whiff from far away. I get. I did the bumpy smell. <laughs> the old five hundred oh, yard wow. stare. Oh man. <clears throat> okay. Wow. So, so sweet caramelized uh, sugar. Like uh, sugar, you you've boiled down um, and caramelized in like a, a pot on the oven, mm -hmm. right? To make a nice simple syrup. It so. is. It is that exactly, and all that is drizzled over like a a sweet angel food cake type thing because okay. those those bready notes are just a sweet warm bread that just came out of the oven. Wow, so there is a the barrel character is very much there. Um, Dark, a, like grape, like yeah. There's definitely some stone fruit qualities to it, like a a, a deep grape or uh, like um, like the grape seed, like specifically. Yeah. Uh, almost, I don't 
think it goes all the way cherry. It's more grape <sighs> yeah. side. Yeah. Uh, but there is definitely a nice, um, pleasant uh, oh oak to it. Oh, yeah. Like, the barrel character, it, it really is very kind of subtle and just... Kind of hanging in the background, like wallflowery type. It's kind of like it's kind of peppery a little like, bit, hey, though. Hey. Right? It, it's pushing the other flavors it, forward, it, but it's still there. It's almost got some like Jack Link's pepper jerky. Do you know what I mean? I hope you like the, the peppered uh, jerky. Oh yeah, like the, the, the uh, yeah the nuggets or whatever. Yeah, yeah. A little, little leather and oak, uh, or I already said oak, but a little leather and tobacco to it. Yeah, very much so. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, let's uh, let's dive in. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my. Well, oh my. I believe this is a case of patience paying off. Now, you said I have another can in the basement, correct? Because I'm willing to share it with you. <laughs> <laughs> there is another can down there. Outstanding. 10.5%. Um, body is... But medium, a little I, higher side I, than medium. I, I was gonna say high side and medium, but man, it's it's a little thin, but it's it, it's okay. So the mouth feels full, but the body's a little thin. If that makes sense. I'll tell you what. I think the aromas carry over nicely. It dr it, it drinks a little dry. I, I think is that the whiskey dry dry on the front or the back. Uh, it's weird. It's kind of on the front of the palate, like right on the tip of my tongue, but then I feel it in the back too. I don't know if that's the whiskey drying everything I, out. I just got a little, a little, get a little warm in the chest, but that, it's, it's so, it's crazy. Like there's a deep, like a, like a black currant. Like it, that grape I is trans that into bl this. Like blackberry, mm -hmm. black currant, like deep grape stone fruits but coupled with the like caramel and uh like sweet toffee and like um not like bit of honey because i always reference bit of honey but like <laughs> sugar daddy this is kind of like a mary jane kind of thing you know what i mean it, but it's not overly sweet like there is a sweetness to it but it is not like oh that's candy it's delicious <laughs> this is a delicious sipper. dude local goodness and i remember paying for this it was like 12 bucks for a four pack or something that like that. That is highway robbery. I could be wrong. I mean, that was two years ago, I but it was pretty insane. I would pay for that four pack and drink one a year All right. <laughs> at this point. All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the whiskey here. Wow. Oh, that is so woody. Like, that is white, wet wood. A cedar, okay. if you will. It's a cedar wood. Yeah, it's very woody. It's With, like, oh, man, that's weird because I get I get dark red grapes on this but white store grapes on this. So take the wood from this. Yep. And go to this. You get that wood, but then it, in here, that wood has been uh, like soaked. Soaked oh, in the bar oh, yeah. line. And the oh, bar yeah. the line has like influenced and just taken over that wood. This smells so good. So this smells like a dresser. Dare I say this smells like my favorite wood? No, like, like a, a nice hardwood dresser when you open up the drawers that oh, yeah. hasn't been used yeah. yet. And I, yeah, was a, <sighs> with with hints of that fruit behind it. it it's so woody, but the, that that grape note is back there. There's there's really slight like cherry notes back there. Yeah. Wow, that's and it, you get that corn, you get like a corn, a little bit of uh, undertones of like a almost like milkweed. It smells dry. Yeah, it's like it's like in in a field, you got your your, your thistles and like your uh, cattails, like cattails and stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. around like kind of swampy water, like pond water. See, I, I don't know if bit. I get that. I get like more of a but, dry but, field, okay. like a, a dry right. grassy field. Cheers. Let's dive in, man. Sweet. Dude, right off the rip, fruit. Like fresh picked, like vine fruit. Like non-distinct, but like 
you're just out there yanking whatever berries you can, poisonous or not. Like, like all that drying. I'm sorry, we didn't even uh, bring it up. It's uh, a <laughs> it's forty percent AV uh, alcohol by volume, so eighty proof. Um, I'm very impressed by the mouthfeel of it being eighty proof. Uh, generally, generally, you gotta go higher proof for the mouthfeel, but that mouthfeel is pretty nice. It's so it's a lot uh, viscous and it's a little bit oily on the. Uh, I was gonna say it's it's palate. nice and syrupy, like it's not. And I don't know, like again, I'm like you're novice. I'm popper in the the world of whiskey. So is it supposed to be like? Uh, like the, I, I swirl it all around. I'm yeah. getting all the syrupy notes. It's a very pleasant burning when it goes down. Like nothing's like stabbing me. Here's in the, the thing: if I had to like put this thing in a nutshell, in the most basic form for me is what I'm getting. Sure, dumb it down for me. I'm getting whiskey drinking for dummies. If if I'm outside in a field and there's a pond and there's the cattails and it's like it's like springtime, right? Not summer, not really hot. Springtime, a little, a little. You know, algae on top of the water, and there's a tree. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you cut down the tree. Yeah, okay. And you get and that you fresh that wood. You milk it. You get that fresh wood, right? Mm -hmm. But then you're getting all that nature coming in. But then you snack on some berries, like grapes. We're idiots. Come back to Simple Rick's. So I want to go back to the barley wine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to that as well. Wow. <laughs> it's dude. Dude. Okay, so going back to that, you get what this brought. But then you see where the barley wine influence. This adds so much more. Like it takes nothing away from this. It only adds. It adds and it changes it. Like that wood, I'm telling you, that wood just turned into a nice candied wood. I don't even think a candy wood's not a thing. We made it up. Uh, Fuck it. We're going to make sure it's candied wood. It's candied uh, wood. Not zombie wood. Candied wood. But yeah, much of the characteristics of the, the fresh wood and the oak and the, the kind of corny, drying honey aspects of this have gone into this. And like that, that vine fruit is only, it's broken down almost if you uh, made like great preserves and, and you... Yeah, you know, you jarred it. I, yeah, because nothing, nothing tastes artificial. It, mm -hmm. Everything tastes fresh. This is a great little science kind of. <sighs> I love the comparison. It really is. I want to do this more, and I love when people like, like they have a prominent on there. Iron smoke. Oh whiskey. yeah, yeah. Like they, they're not, like they're not messing around. Like they don't. Some people are like, oh, we're not telling you what barrel. They're is. not embarrassed by the whiskey coming in here. Yeah. They, they want to put that out on front street. It's not down. focusing. Now I'm gonna have a complex over it. There you go. <laughs> Focus. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, man. So this is um I I like seeing where it came from and how the beer has changed that barrel character. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean the one thing we don't have here is the wood, the, the actual barrel, but you know, that's part of it too. Yeah. Um But but I think it's still fun to okay. like I mean, we pull so many like bourbons and whiskeys out of like. You know, usually we have a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a and blast. This, this, this but blast. It's not, but it's not it's our like, zany. Yeah, and people are gonna be like, they're they're being serious. What, what's going on? Um, <laughs> Their friendship's over. Everything's changed. Uh, no, it, but I, this. I don't know. Th this beer doesn't elicit that kind of behavior. <laughs> it really, it's a contemplative beer. It, it's. What the? <sighs> Whoa. Did you see that? That deer running around or what? Dude, the camera probably caught it. There was this bug. It flew right next to your eye. It landed behind that flux. I'll kill it. I don't know what... Was it a big bug? Was it from the light? There, it was a lightning bug. Oh, it's right there. Or one of those little... Uh, yeah. Was it Japanese? Yeah, those Japanese things? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Um, um, what do you rate the beer? Oh, do you remember it fresh at all? No, not at all. My memory shot. I, okay. Okay. But I remember it slightly only for this fact. Okay. Is, I wonder if I did it? I don't even know if I, hold on, hold on. I mean, if you I did, did check I it in. Surely I did. did check it in. Hold on, hold on. Okay, talk to me. Oh, wow. Look at the color on that. It might be on my camera, but, oh, maybe not. I can't see anything. It shows there, but. 
Oh, wow. It, it was a lot that, darker, right? Or is this more red? That is uh, dark. I said, insanely smooth for being relatively fresh. Hope to age a few since barley wine typically is stellar with some time on it. The nose is similar to what is left in the pan after making bananas foster. Oh, okay. A bit right. thin, but okay. Caramel, toffee, brown sugar. So now we're thinking this fruit. If I say bananas foster, does that change your... Or is that gone now transitioned into... Something totally different. I, I wrote the most, <laughs> the worst, very, very enjoyable, smooth, with an E, hides the booze. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I wrote. <laughs> God. Uh, you know what, though? Now that I'm th saying Bananas Foster, don't know if it's fucking with you, but, like, take a sip of that. I mean. You know what that is? There's a bit of rum spice now that I'm thinking about it. You ever smell, like, you ever eat a banana that's way too ripe mm -hmm. it's yeah. the peel the aroma like yeah. it has a, a green banana peel to it i have now influenced my future self from my past self that's what we do on this channel yeah you know what's coming um at that time i gave it uh by the way i gave it a 4.25 this smells like paper yeah like construction paper yep um, the purple one. Um, <laughs> I can smell colors. <laughs> I can smell colors, baby. Yeah. Great um, callback. Great callback. I don't know, man. Like, so yeah, this is pretty. Oh crazy. man. Right, so what? You gave it a four point two five. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it up. I think I'm bumping this. Uh, this is four four. Shit, I was gonna give it a four four two. Um, I don't. I don't. I think it's a four four. Maybe a four or five. I don't know what would make this beer. I'd like a, a bit more body. And I think I'd like a, a little bit more. Uh, a deep seated like. Uh, dark chocolate cacao. Bit cacao! Um, See, I did that earlier. On so I so I know I did the on tap check in, but my biggest thing when I drank this first time. I said, I drank it. I was like, oh, thank God. It's an English barley wine. Oh, I remember. That's weird. I remember us talking about this. Because, you know, you okay. got your Bigfoots and stuff. Yep. And Bigfoot's delicious. I have Bigfoots <sighs> in cellar, but it's an American barley wine. Really hoppy. I prefer English. I, I like English as Although well. Although we got some really old Bigfoot down there, so. Yeah. We'll crack those out eventually, and that'll be a fun one. That'll be up for science. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, what would bump this up for me more, especially after having the whiskey, is a little more whiskey character. I would like to taste this a little bit more in this. And maybe it would have tasted like that with a year's worth of age versus two years of age. See, I, this is where I disagree. Okay. I, I think I think it is there. I just, th I just think this is what happens when that barley wine and all that deep, rum raisin kind of bananas foster mm -hmm. grape toffee thing marries with that fresh block of construction paper and the the, the right. soles and all that stuff um don't get me wrong that th oh, that by no means like i get this beer yeah. four 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 five i mean it's in fact in fact the, the whiskey itself for me yeah I, oh, man. it's it's a young whiskey okay it tastes very young talk to me about that then um Okay, so oh, it says a minimum of two years in New American White Oak, uh, triple charred barrels. So there's that char to it. So that's that, that's that's, so that, that's the aspect I really couldn't pull. Um, I'm kind of new to this, but two years. That's a young whiskey. Okay, it's okay. a very young whiskey. So oh, you know how you know how the wood is like construction <sighs> paper, or like like I said, like you open up it's the, cedar. It's it's you, white fresh. But like you open up the the fresh new dresser. Yeah, yeah. Versus the old dresser. Right? Yeah, okay. And musky, okay. right? Um. Okay, I don't know if you remember. You had the Russell's ten. That's I wish a ten. I can remember it? Yeah. It's ten, and you and you. Oh, I think that was the one you said. That, this yeah, that one. Yes, ever. that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. It tastes aged like this, right? Yeah. It okay. didn't taste. This tastes new and fresh. I wish I'd made notes on those. You know what I'm I mean? Idiot. <sighs> so, yeah, I don't know, dude. This is wild. This is so good. Welcome along for the ride. I'm going to tag the brewery. They're going to watch we, five minutes. Do we, save, do we save another one, open it up another year, and do like a review? 
A so year? Long. A year I can do shit. Why? I think you wait at least two or three. Are you talking about a year? Know, like it's uh, a week? I can't do anything, but... Yeah, I don't... I don't I like a year I'd like to... I'd, honestly, I'd like to see what... If you have the patience... <laughs> if you have the patience to leave my can of barrel-aged barley... I'm not worried about patience. Years. I'm worried about the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, this beer's fantastic. Like, you should cherish every moment you have with me because I'm, I'm out after. I do. The... I, dude, every every time we get together, every time you I should, see you, I'm like, well, I'll see you later, buddy. And then maybe the last. You should, yeah, you should just. Yeah, cherish, Death cherish is every... always around the corner for this guy, so I cherish every moment. Just drink this whole thing. It's very delicious. Um, it, 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 it demands... To be sipped. Is it the best barley wine? No. Is it a very formidable barley wine that's delicious? Sure. I mean, you stack this up with some of the big big boys. It's hanging right in there. It's not going yeah, to beat them. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I guess, I don't know. Like, does it depend on your whiskey preferences? Yeah. I mean, I mean someone okay, might okay. really enjoy this kind of whiskey right, and be like, this is my jam. Like, let me this put this way. If this was aged 13 months and a 10-year-old whiskey. That'd be a whole different story, wouldn't it? Yeah, you'd have more deeper, robust flavors, I believe. What about all your real friends on the whiskey review oh, that you do? Like, I think everyone would find this delicious. If you like barley wine, you'd find it delicious. I would say, okay, think about it like this. Remember the 2013 Bourbon County... Barley wine that Joe from Beer Patrol. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Imagine okay. how deep okay. and syrupy and robust that was. Or the Tree of Life. From... Tree of Life. I was actually just thinking about the Kettlehead. Yeah, the Kettlehead. Barley wine. You can tell it was aged in a young barrel, right? 13 months, I'm glad they did that. A lot of places, they do like six months. It adds something to it, but... Eh. Yeah, I, I mean, I absolutely understand what you're saying about like not wanting a young whiskey for something like this. Because if... You're talking about a beer that you're no doubt going to age. Like, you already want some age on the liquor part of it. And say, like, I don't know. You don't You don't want to be like, ah, this is a brand new whiskey. And it's going to, it, you're going to have to age it for much longer to get the nuances, I would assume. Yeah. Oh, you get it. All that. <laughs> you get it. You, you get do. It. No, no, far away, farther away. I don't want to do, put this. Do, do like right here. No, no, just like right here. I smell the Japanese beetle. Right. Like right there. No, smell the beer. And then go back and forth. I mean, you, you start getting that quality. The same. It's just it's matured a little. Bit. You gotta think it sat around for another thirteen months. In those the aroma barrels. of this beer. The aroma of this beer itself is yeah. just. Yeah. It's unbelievable. All right. Um, we good? We did it? Great. Good. Uh, <laughs> finished an exam. <laughs> oh, Tanner style. Yeah, yeah. examination. Shout no, out. This has been fun. Uh, I, I like doing these things. Yeah. Um, we actually got a comment from uh, Sierra Hotel on our channel Ooh. update. And he said, I'm not familiar. More bourbon content, please. There you go. But didn't we? We still had. Remember, remember Avalox on the Rocks? That was the thing we were going to do. I'm down. I'm down. Avalox on the Rocks. What do y'all think? All right. Um, oh, Sierra Hotel. Yeah. So, yeah. I am at like a 4 4, I think. Well, probably a 4 3, I think. I'm okay. I'm, I'm stuck between a 4 4. I have four, to, I have to this judge this against like uh, some others I've had. Don't think about it. It's delicious. Absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. Aged pretty well. I'm excited to have it. I read next. the whiskey. Um, so here's the thing. I, I wish we would have did the whiskey with our um uh, on, our scoring rocks our, our scoring method that we do on our money examination. It gets five rocks. That's that's not it at all. Uh exactly, because that's our thing. If I had to score it, I'm probably out of like a sixty seven out of a hundred. Well, I've been keeping a secret from Dan because he gets really upset when he doesn't have all the information. Dan, I've been 
Been drinking whiskey a lot more lately. Just saying. Just want you to know that. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do right now. <laughs> I feel like Caesar. I bet he trained. I trained. Oh no! Why? Why have you done this to me? Oh, I get the knife. The knife's in my back. Oh my god. Um, I'll tell you what. Like, <laughs> what, uh, what have you been drinking? Canadian whiskey. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Like Crown Royal. Fuck. Oh, okay. Right. So, so let me tell you. Like, okay. yeah. Because I've had, I mean, I've had shitty whiskey before where it's just like the wood you're drinking is already on fire. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this is terrible. So for me being a popper, like, I think this is a really nice, there's super fresh fruity notes. There's a really nice woody aspect. There's that white, wet wood I really enjoy. And there's a pleasant burning that goes all the way down I really like this. I think this is a very tasty whiskey. Yeah, it is. I'm not saying it isn't. But it's to me, it just comes off a bit young. That's all. Sure. All right. I, I, I get it. I mean, what would you expect this to do in another, like, three to five years? Nothing. Well, then, who the fuck cares how young it is if it's not going to no, change? No, so that's the difference between whiskey and um, uh, beer. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about beer. I'm saying, what, what do you expect the whiskey? To, what would the whiskey, how would that change? Well, what I'm saying is it won't do much. Like, it might change if, if you have a big bottle and you open it. The oxygen will oxidize. Well, yeah, sure. Changes. There's always going to be but oxygen. It doesn't, it, doesn't, like, it doesn't mature. Any, it's not like beer where it, it okay, evolves. Okay, okay. Uh, it only actually evolves, like, in the barrel for the most part. Ah, okay, okay. I get uh, what you're saying. So, again, this isn't. The Lord has spoken. I've just, I've learned this from multiple. We have brought these tablets down <laughs> from on high. I've learned this from multiple bourbon channels and stuff. And it, it kind of makes sense because it, it, ga it gains all the character and aging from the barrels and the, the, <clears throat> the humidity and the temperature and everything. Right, right, right. right. Uh, a whiskey definitely does change in the bottle. So there's been whiskeys like usually what happens is you pour it and that first neck pour is totally something way different than the whiskey is. Not way different, but it's different. And then you get to the mid bottle, and then it, it starts evolving a little bit. It's more of the aeration in there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah the okay, okay, I got you. It I just kind of it changes things, but it doesn't. The whiskey doesn't continue to be like the beer, where the beer, like the yeast, is still. Yeah, it, away, it's always kind of fermenting. Yeah, like yeah, 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 I get yeah. that. Um, <sighs> okay, well. That's that's why you that's why a lot of people clamor and that's why the prices are high on more of like a an older whiskey okay, or, yeah, or yeah, even yeah. A, like single barrel whiskey stuff like that. Sure, sure, sure. It's like a single hop IPA. I get it. This has been real fun. I enjoyed it. We this we was we've logged. Blast. Listen, listen. We are going on a half an hour. We're, we're officially this beer, in, this we're beer not, this we are beer. an episode of a, your favorite sitcom <laughs> you know and, and even if 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 three heads even watches a few minutes of it and i hope they are able to view the appreciation we have for this beer uh because it's fantastic i mean <laughs> i i would absolutely buy more of this yeah i'm i'm so and glad it all day long I, i'm very glad that i was able to you know i haven't seen them make it sense either that's the thing you know i was gonna say i was like man i haven't seen it like i think up they on did the, the like wendigo it, when when yeah wendigo. yeah the wendigo was out there but like not this like yeah. i wish i yeah i mean at least i've got a couple cans in your cellar that's that's good to know definitely all right uh down below all the links on the link tree. We age like a fine whiskey. Uh, we sure. are insanely aerated. All right, gang. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Cheers.